always want to get better, do more, have better stats, score more goals. So that's something at the end of the season I always try to look at and see where I can improve on. What the future holds for him is limitless. He can be as good as he wants to be. He absolutely can be one of the very best. I always want to step up in the next season that I play in. But I just think over a spell of months, I kind of felt myself kind of growing as a person, um, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. And my role in the team, being a big player uh, and wanting to step up in, in big moments and really kind of push the boys and, and obviously have the captain's armband on for two of the games in the FA Cup, it gave me that extra confidence. He's such a, such a nice guy. He comes today with such a big smile, gives you the impression that he's so happy to be here, to be out on the pitch. Just this, uh, these, this, these open eyes and these, these, uh, these honest eyes and this honest attitude. Areas where I can do better, I need to look at and, and see where I can improve on. And that's something that I would always want to do and, and look at because I can still keep getting better and better. Just want to be better for my teammates and obviously for myself to improve and get better in these big games. It's a trophy that I've always wanted to win after winning two FA Youth Cups. And then obviously to lose that game, it's that had a big toll on me and it, and it affected me quite a lot. And when you're up and down like this, football is up and down and, and you go into a game where you're playing in the Premier League the next game and you win and you're up again. So it's, you're always up and down. And as, as a footballer, you learn about how to, how to deal with these moments. It's special, I think, because for me to come through the academy and this long journey I've been on to now be in the first team and obviously it's my second year. The support and the appreciation I get from them, it, it obviously really means a lot for me and, and gives me a lot of confidence. I still definitely feel their support from home, watching the games and then to be awarded the trophy while the first game of them being back. It was a special day and, and it really meant a lot for me um, to have my family there as well. It is so nice because it's so easy to be happy for him because he's, uh, he deserves it. So it's so easy to, to push him and to support him. He is not distracted at all and he, I think that he can appreciate where he is because he worked hard for it and he has a very natural way to arrive there. Very impressive to, to work his way through on loans, to work his way through here at Chelsea, then to to, to overcome the, the change of management and to still be an important player, this is, this is huge. And, and all, all, all parts isolated can, can cause trouble or can be an obstacle where you struggle, but not for him, he overcomes it. And this is very natural and he's very, very positive about it. And the, this makes me feel absolutely confident that he can keep on going. Every single age group I've been through, the coaches, they've given me something more to my game, they've added to my game, they've, they, and they've all made me the player I'm now. Without the academy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be sitting here now. So, for me to win that award, I, I give it to them. It's a crazy journey, and, and yeah, hopefully, long may it continue. A Champions League final is different to to most other games you play in. You don't get to play in one very often. Um, speaking to players and that have had a long career, that. Some of them probably have never even been involved in one. It's a special game, um, but you try to treat it like it's any other game. It's a game of football, it's something that I've done my whole life. Um, but I just try to stay calm and, and have that mentality that I go into every game with.